Welcome back to our course on Adobe PSC 11. In this section we're going to take our first look at layers and I really can't overemphasize how important layers are to using PSC 11 not only effectively but efficiently and flexibly as well. So first of all let me explain what layers are all about. Now let's suppose that I want to enhance this picture in some way. Let's suppose that I say want to change the lighting, change the color, perhaps take part of it out, apply some sort of style or effect, or maybe even add something to it. Could I take those two people out and add somebody else to the picture? Well I can do all of these things with Photoshop Elements and on a particular picture I may do several things to the same picture. But supposing I do say six things to this picture but after I've done them I decide that I don't want the first one anymore does that mean I have to undo all six and then redo the five I do want again so you can see there's a problem when you do a lot to a picture if you change your mind about something or perhaps if you want to experiment with something and see if it works and be prepared for a situation where it doesn't work well the way that Photoshop Elements deals with this problem is that when you make changes you can in almost every case make the changes on a separate layer think of a layer as a sort of clear plastic sheet over the picture and if I wanted to take somebody out then the process of taking them out would be applied as one clear plastic sheet of removing those people and maybe adding somebody else would be another clear plastic sheet of adding different people. Then all you have to do to undo the first of those changes, the first of those clear plastic sheets, is to just remove the first clear plastic sheet. And the first operation you performed will no longer be performed. Now I'm going to demonstrate this with a fairly straightforward example to begin with and the first thing I'm going to do is to enable the layers panel now you should remember how to do this if I go up to the window menu and click on window if I select layers note there's a keyboard shortcut of F11 it brings up the panel bin on the right with the layers panel shown and whatever picture you're working on in PSC 11 you will always have this initial background layer as it's called now this background layer is very important and I tend to think of this as my get out of jail card because provided I always have this background layer I can always go back to where I started from so when I'm working with layers and to be honest I use layers quite a lot in the work that I do the first thing I do is to make a copy of this background layer now that's something that PSC 11 has a very specific command for if I right click on the layer one of the options it says is duplicate layer and if I create a duplicate layer I will normally call it background copy I'll click on OK and I now have two layers each layer is represented by one band there and that one the first one the one I started with has got this little padlock on it and that padlock is as it says here is partially locked that makes this layer pretty safe, not absolutely safe, but it makes it pretty safe and I'll come back to that later on. Anything I do now I'm going to do starting with the background copy and in terms of a good working approach I suggest that you always first of all make a background copy. Now I want to talk about layer visibility. There is a little icon on the left here like an eye on each layer and this determines whether a layer is visible or not. If I click on the icon here for the background copy layer that makes it invisible. You notice the line through there that makes it invisible. Let me do the same for the background. When they're both invisible of course you can't see anything. That checkerboard pattern indicates transparency. If I 
put the background back on you can see the background click that one back on you can see the background copy now of course it looks the same because they're identical now let me select the background copy so that layer is the one that I'm working on and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an elliptical marquee selection in there doesn't really matter what it is and then with that selection I'm going to do edit cut now what I've done is to cut out a section of the background copy but you might look at it and think well where's it gone it looks exactly the same to me and of course it does now look over at the layer indicator you see how on the background copy you can see that elliptical mark with the checkerboard to indicate transparency the reason that you can still see the whole of that image is because the background is showing through what if I were to make the background invisible now of course you can see the whole because as you look through the background copy you can no longer see the background because the background is invisible now this illustrates quite well the principle of layers you're looking from the top you're looking at the background copy the background copy has got a hole in it you look through the hole what can you see well you normally would see the background but I've made the background invisible so there's nothing there it's transparent if I switch the background on again then as you look through the hole in the background copy you see the background and that's really a good idea of one of the fundamental principles of layers so now I've got a different image this is an image of a sheep and I'm not going to do a background copy layer here your reason for this will become apparent in a moment what I'm going to do is to use the quick selection tool to select that sheep so let's just carefully run over the sheep get it as accurately as I can I'm not going to worry about making this too accurate but I'd like a reasonable looking representation of this sheep I think I've lost an ear there get that hind foot in get the front foot in that'll do for now so I've got a reasonable selection on that sheep I could do a better job but that's good enough now I'm going to do edit copy and I'm going to go back to the deck of the ship now then notice that the background copy layer is selected you can tell it's selected because it's highlighted here what I'm now going to do is to do edit paste now what happens here is quite important in two or three different ways one way in which it's important is that when you do a paste PSC 11 automatically creates a new layer you don't have to say make a new layer and then paste the sheep onto it there are certain things you do where it automatically makes a new layer and there are certain things you do where you have to manually make a new layer first okay what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move the sheep let me get rid of the tool options first just so we can see the picture a bit better I'm going to use another one of the tools in the group that has the marquee selection tool and the quick selection tool in it and there's a move tool let me get the move tool don't need the options at the moment I'm just going to drag the sheep and put it a little bit more comfortably on the deck here perhaps we'll just put it there there we are so we've now got the sheep standing on the deck of the ship now notice how we've got in this little thumbnail over here an impression of quite useful impression of what this layer has and now think back to what I said earlier on this is like sort of three sheets of plastic if you like clear sheets of film the background one is a full image it's painted all over the background copy painted all over but we left a hole in it the top copy the one that's called layer one has actually got a sheep in it and you can see whereabouts the sheep is there now with layers you're not restricted to putting objects on them because some layers 
actually represent some kind of effect like a blurring effect or a colouring effect and we're going to look at some of those in a little while but for the moment let me tell you one or two more things about the layers that we've already got now something that's very useful when you're dealing with layers is giving layers meaningful names to remind you what they're all about if you right click on layer 1 here for instance one of the options is rename layer I'm going to call it sheep click on OK that will remind me what is on that layer now let me select that layer again right click this time duplicate layer duplicate layer and it defaults the name of the name of the layer I'm duplicating followed by the word copy I'm going to change that name there's no real reason to I just fancy changing the name I'm going to call it another sheep click on OK and I've now got two sheep layers they're identical but using the move tool let me drag that one over there so another sheep is over there you can see the relative positions in the thumbnails on the right there and once again let's look at the visibility if I make the sheep layer invisible you'll only see the sheep on the left make the other layer invisible you'll only see the sheep on the right now this gives you some ideas of the flexibility you get using layers but also how you can experiment with things using layers and you could even let's suppose you weren't quite sure about having the sheep or not the sheep you could actually print this image out or send this image to somebody without one or more of the layers showing and then decide later on whether to put that layer back in or not so the layer system is a very flexible system the other point I would make is that generally speaking when you've made the copy of the background you would normally make the background invisible to make sure that you've kept track of exactly what's going on now of course if you make that invisible now you're still going to see that hole we left in the background copy which of course we shouldn't have done but it's always a good idea to make the original background invisible once you start work so that you don't get a false impression of the final image so let's fix that problem now go back to the background layer the original and click on duplicate layer we can call it background copy 2 click on OK when we make a duplicate it appears above the original to delete the background copy with the hole in it we select that layer right click and then delete layer delete the layer background copy yes it's gone now background copy 2 and background are both invisible so let me just turn the visibility of background copy 2 on and there we have the two sheep standing on the deck which is what I'd intended to get in the first place so in this section we've covered the very basics of layers in the next section we're going to add a few more details a few more general points about layers and then during the rest of the course we're going to be using layers for various things such as styles effects coloring lighting and so on so in the next section more on layers I'll see you then